Hi. Today we're going to be starting the process of making some chain mail and also eating licorice. Mm. What I've got here is a bunch of still thread. Not galvanized. And I spin it around this little Hole, pipe, whatever you want to call it. It is hollow. Like this. And then we take this, we cut it off, so we get like a sausage, a sausage of circular metal, and we cut, uh, cut the tube of metal in a straight line to create little rings. And I don't know if you can see there's like one ring to roll them all in there. We have three little white cups. One will be filled with closed loops, one will be filled with open loops, and one for just rings that can't be used. We're going to do a thing called four in one. So we're going to have one closed loop for every four open loops and the open loops then get attached to the one closed and then we close them so we have like a little ring dangling so i'm gonna spin this and we're gonna start clipping Okay, now we have one basically finished loop. We're gonna leave this because it's not behaving and I don't wanna, like, we can let that go to waste, it's not a problem. So, now the objective is to cut this off and we do that pretty simply. Let me just take my glove, or one of the gloves off anyway. The gloves are off. We grab this snippity snip snip and we cut it at the base of the wire there we go now we have a nice sausage that we can cut of metal we are going to cut and to start with we are going to cut some open rings so we have our open ring cup we're just going to cut and they are by default uh, open so we don't have to do much with them hence when well, we're starting with open ones snip and we have Oops, we have a open ring. I wish this could cut more than one, but it can't. It makes this process take a lot longer than I'm used to. There we go, another couple actually, because I squeezed extra hard, but one is probably better for my hand. 
So, I was thinking, as the title suggests, of starting a, an Instagram. I lost a ring. Ah. Oh no! <sighs> Thank God this wasn't a wedding. Um, starting an Instagram because a lot of people have been asking me if I have one and that I uh, well, they asked me if I, I can open one. I never have because I don't really take pictures of myself. However, I could start now, now that I have a really nice camera. Like, it might make the pictures worth a damn. So, you let me know. Would you like me to open a, an Instagram? I'm gonna make a poll. If I can figure out the YouTube polling, then uh, I think if you press the little I on the, that side of the screen, I think, and you can see a poll there, yes or no. However, if that is not the case and I can't figure that poll out, then you should just look in the description and there will be a straw poll instead. Sorry about the background sounds, by the way. You can't really get workshops like this that are entirely quiet. That's not how the world works. This one is relatively quiet. I have asked for relative silence and peace. And so far, so good. Now I know this video is not going to be very popular. Because, well, most of the people who watch my videos are women between 18 to 20, yeah, 18 to 24 years old. And they subscribe for my math sounds, and this is about as far from math sounds as you get. In fact, I'm expecting this video to tank. So, if you are watching, I'd love to hear your feedback, because if you're the kind of person interested in this, let me know. What kind of videos do you want to see? Because if I can't make this, then I guess I'll have to figure out something else. Because I, I like making chain mail, I like doing this kind of thing. And I've been meaning to start again for a while now, so now that I have the means and the tools and the place, I figured I would record. So it's really nice to have a camera that allows me to record in this location. Even though the lighting isn't amazing, it doesn't look too shabby with this camera. Man, there's something therapeutic about the simple process of snip and toss. Snip and toss. Someone somewhere else is working. I think they are hoovering maybe upstairs. I'm sorry about that. Shouldn't be too loud, but it, you know, it is a background sound. But this is what it's like at a workshop. Now you might be wondering, Ben, where the hell are you? How did you get access to this place? That's a secret. <laughs> it is information that I cannot disclose. But I'm very thankful for it. The equipment is free to use. I have everything that I could ever want in here. The stuff in here that I didn't know existed. Uh, and I was also lucky enough to get this steel thread for free. It is not galvanized, which means it'll rust. And when it rusts, it'll look all orangey and... Not orangey, sorry, like a bronzed... Not even bronze. You know, like a... Like a... Well, like this. <laughs> but like a little bit more brown. And it'll look kind of badass, eventually. That is the idea, anyway. Maybe it'll look terrible. But hey.
In fact, I haven't done this in years and it just came to me that I don't really need a separate box for the closed rings. If I just make closed rings out of the open rings and then put the four and one together there and then, and then I can put the four and ones in the what is currently the uh, closed ring cup. That seems like an idea. Now, if you are a woman watching, I'm impressed. And I don't mean to reinforce stereotypes here, but this is the kind of thing that is a little bit more... Yeah, you know, male-focused. And you can argue to the ends of the earth, but I have the analytics <laughs> backing me up here. Guys tend to watch this kind of stuff more. If you're a woman watching, cool. <laughs> I wonder why. Like, are you interested in chainmail? Do you just like my videos, whatever they are? Did you click because Instagram was in the title and you're like, oh, woo? Because I think pretty much exclusively women have asked me for Instagram. I, maybe the occasional guy, but it's pretty much just women. Which is fine. I guess it is a more female platform, whereas YouTube is a more male-dominated platform. I don't know. I'm just interested in analytics. And knowing why people watch what they watch is kind of half the reason I run a YouTube channel. The actual process of making a video is pretty boring, time-consuming, and especially now. I have a new camera, but that new camera doesn't really do much other than look good. And it adds several hours of work onto each video. Seriously. Because you can't just record and call it a day. That's not how it works. With my phone, it requires minimal, you know, minimal work. Alright, we have our first ring that can't be used. You can see it's a little bit bent. It wasn't spun properly. So that goes in the trash, basically. It probably could be salvaged, but that'll take a while. A lot of hammering. It'll deform the ring, make it weaker. No thanks. So we just throw it away and move on. Some casualties are to be expected. Anyway, yeah, analytics, numbers, going up and down, up and down. I find them interesting. And I think there's probably people out there who also find them interesting. Anywho. Let me know what you think of this video. It's a bit of a different video, it has B-roll, B-roll being the footage that you see in between shots, basically. Or maybe in the background when I talk, I don't know how I'm going to use it yet, but you'll see it when we cut from this to... That would be the sickest transition, cut from this, snap. Now, um, when we cut from this to the actual linking of the rings, the footage you saw, or will see, in between then is B-roll. And I believe this is the first video that I've recorded with B-roll, I think. I don't know. I think it is though. It might not be. It's really difficult to That kind of thing. I have so many videos, man. I think I have like 450 ASMR videos. We 
which is ridiculous. But that's just silly. Then I have like 150 to 200 live streams. And another couple hundred videos that are vlogs or TED reports. Hmm. Well, no, not by a couple hundred, like a like hundred. So. We're gonna finish up this little sausage and then we're gonna move on to the combining of the rings. In fact, I, that's another waste, I am going to cut it here and I'll see you in like a couple seconds when we're putting the rings together. See? That was B-roll. Welcome. Uh, I have an energy drink. Oh, fuck. Oh, much needed in this heat. And this noise. Right, so. another little cup and we're going to use that to put the four in one rings in. First thing, we can't just have a drink, we need another pipe. Yes, because we're manly man. Alright, now to open and close rings we have these two tools. One is a a um, needle nose set of pliers and a regular set of pliers thick and thin I'm really sorry about this fucking noise god I'm moving furniture or something We're going to put on this dirty, grimy glove because this is going to get a little bit hard. Just pouring out a little bit of our rings. So here's the tricky part. Although it's not that tricky. We have one ring. We clamp it on both ends, and then I close it. Okay? Now we have a closed ring. That's one, and we only need one. And then... We want to put four of these other rings on there. So we have one, Two, three, and four. See that? Four rings hanging off the end. And if I can just, well, I'll leave it like that. But, uh, but that's the idea anyway. I want to close this eventually, but that's what we want to make. So we're going to make a bunch of closed rings before we go on to linking them together. Because with these really clunky gloves, that will be the fastest way to get it done. And I just lost the ring in the, almost on the floor. These gloves are really... I would recommend, if you're doing this, that you have gloves that aren't uh, really fucking frustrating to use. This is very fiddly work. And, uh... Yeah. It's very fiddly work. 
So I would suggest picking it up with the needle nose plier and then closing. ABC. Always be closing or whatever. I don't know. It's not really the right context. It's more of a sales thing. I think. Sales slash promotional. I don't know. It could also be my goddamn door when you're entering my room. Fucking leaving it open. It was closed for a reason, right? And fucking knock. I'm sorry. Bad memories. I've never been caught masturbating. Like, not without doubt anyway. Like, they can suspect what they want, but no one has seen me. Nor has anyone caught me watching anything online. And again, they can suspect, but they've never strictly seen me do it. So, I'm in the clear, but I've had some close calls. All I'm saying is, we all know, right? A teenage boy is gonna be doing shit. If you don't knock on that door, I'm gonna assume that you want to see that stuff. And that's a little gross. Like, come on, parents. Fucking knock and then wait for a reply, then enter. And I know a lot of parents are watching me. <laughs> There's a lot, like, the average age for the person watching my channel is about 25, which means I would say probably a good quarter of the people who watch my channel, maybe not a quarter, maybe a fifth of the people who watch this channel are parents or soon to be. I'm just saying, when you get to that teenage stage, just give them some fucking privacy. You don't want to develop a little culture that, or like culture in the family where they're just hiding shit from each other all the time. Give them trust, give them space, to the point where they both become sort of independent, but also want more attention, want more of the family. In other words, don't be too clingy with your own family and don't walk in on them masturbating. Because, <laughs> yeah, I think you're really bordering on some halfway illegal shit at that point. Anyway, that's a bit of a bit of a diversion from what we're doing here. Okay, I'm just gonna close this one and we have one more to close. Cool. So we've closed a bunch of rings. So I'm gonna put these away for a second. string. Great. We really should be closing that. In fact, I'm gonna say fuck the Oops. I'm gonna say fuck the gloves because it's just gonna take too long. So I'm gonna if I can just this is a very time consuming process if you haven't noticed. And we're going to close these rings. In fact, I have the pliers the other way around, and that is not a good thing. You want the thick. 
if you, oh, at least if you're me, a thick player in your the non-dominant hand. The dominant hand wants the nosed needle nose player because the thick one is just for clamping and holding on. This one is for the finesse and twisting. And you want the dominant hand, which has more control, to handle that motion of the ocean and so on. Cool. Four and one, they're all closed and there's a way you can like put them down if I remember correctly. I don't know. Yeah. Look at that. You should be able to sort of fan them out a little bit. It's hard to show on video here, but I promise we've done it correctly. Oh, wait. wait. Can you see that? How they're laying all flat? This is how they're going to be laying when you actually put them together, right? They're going to be down like that, on top of each other, sort of. And you can see this is now a bit of a chainmail. Lots of these put together, and we have armor. So, I am going to make a bunch of these foreign ones, keeping them open. So that we can get some progress up in this pitch. I said get some progress up in this. Son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, look at that. So that's one more. Now, I realize this exact portion of the video is a little bit boring, so I'm going to cut to when I have all of the, or at least a bunch of the open rings on some closed rings, and we'll take it from there, okay? So, see you in a second. Okay, uh, I haven't had time to film because well, I had time, but I didn't have battery and it's going to run out, so I'm just going to show you this. This has taken me, well, a good long while to put together now, but it's starting to come together. Just a lot more of this, and we have a full suit of armor, uh, chainmail armor, that is. So, if you want more videos like this where I continue the production of this chainmail, let me know, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.